What's up, everybody? I'm Deborah Renee Seth. And I'm your girl, Shorty Love of the 3D Biz. And we're here at Envy's Pretty Party, one of the hottest boutiques in Atlanta. I'm here to interview celebrity stylist Jaleen Coggins. And me, I'm just here to shop. So while I find out what Jaleen's been up to, I'm going to take you around her boutique and find out what type of shoes we can get into. Stay with us. Let's try these ones. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what you're wearing, your accessories always sets off the outfit. So it has to be right. If Indy has some of the hottest, check out this necklace. It's a bit much, but it's still sexy. Now, it seems like these boots are like really in style right now. I don't know what it is about these military combat looking boots, but everybody's wearing them. Carrie Hilson, Tony Braxton, and Lil' Kim are some of Envy's favorite clients. So I wonder if they ever tried on something like this before. This looks more like a Sierra type style though. Yeah. <laughs> How does it look? It's still a little too small. Cute. You like it? It's got a little extra. <laughs> you know, one thing people always comment on about me is my earrings, and Envy's actually got some of the hottest earrings I've ever seen. Check out this great pair. I like them. All Divas will spark a good pair. So when you get in that mood, like you can't see me right now, you can't see me right now. <laughs> These are hot. <laughs> my mood and you just don't feel like being bothered you just don't want nobody to bother you you just in your own zone they can't see you right now just don't want your stomach shape <laughs> but you can still see me <laughs> you can still see me <laughs> these are cute though i have another idea with the <laughs> I love like the neutral color tones. That way I can throw them on with just about anything. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm gonna try something totally different, like way out of my league right now. Schoolgirl status. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm not feeling these. All right, y'all, enough with the shades. You can have the baddest shoes, the baddest shades, the baddest accessories or whatever. But at the end of the day, you have to find that one thing that makes you feel good about your outfit. For me, I have to have a good color fingernail polish. So let's head over because I'm kind of neutral right now. <laughs> All right, so now we need to find something that kind of represents our mood. Right now, I'm kind of cool, calm, and collected. So we don't want to go too wild. And we have to remember that it is winter time, so not too bright either. Let's see what they have. that is kind of bland. You know, orange is still bright, so, I mean, it still represents a happy mood, but it's not too bright as in you're so happy. It still gives you that calm, relaxed feeling. Also, I love green. I wonder how this will look, or like on a crazy night out, just to do like a couple nails like this, and mix it up with something else. That's diva five. Some more of the sexier colors. Maybe on a hot date or something like that. Purple is my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried the white. I've seen a lot of celebrities wear it. I don't know how it really works for me. Also, the all black either. Those are two colors I like to stay away from. As you can see, all kinds of celebrities have already been here in Envy's Pretty Party. Little Kim, Carrie Hilson herself, and even Miss J, and now the three viewers. We are having a great time at Envy's Pretty Party. Jasmine, are you? I mean, it's crazy. We hope you enjoy it too. Don't go anywhere. Keep it loud.
Sintay. We are having such a great time at Envy's Pretty Party. Yes, but before we go, we just want to thank the entire staff of Envy's Pretty Party for allowing us to come through. Thank you so much. I think if I gave it as much effort as they did, then I could be as good as anybody. And when I say effort, I mean they don't have husbands, they don't have kids, they don't have a business. They just do that. And even though I love styling people, I have my own dream, so but my dream isn't only to be to help you make your dream. <laughs> even though that's part of my dream, it's not my whole dream to live your dream. Mm -hmm. Cut that my own church. <laughs> and not in a hater way, because right. I still do, and, and if I do believe in somebody's dream and I'm working towards, I still give it my all, but for the time that I'm doing it. But I can't use all my time. The presence of ethnic women in high fashion, or even, you know, plus size women in high fashion. What do you, what do you think about that? Do you think there is a market for that? Do you think it's growing? Do you think things are changing? It's a little tricky, you know? Because sometimes, I'm a big girl, but sometimes when I see big girls on TV, sometimes I don't like it. <laughs> like, there was some show and the girl's out and her arms were out and I was like, ugh. But then I felt bad because then I was like, is that self-hate? To not look at that and think it looks yucky, you know what I mean? So I'm a little torn on that. And I have to say also with plus size, and even when, like, if you're a true lover of clothes, I see why they want skinny girls. It's not because skinny is so pretty. It's because you don't notice the body. Like, you really, it's literally a hanger. Party's over here. I promise I won't touch it again. Yeah, and so it's so much that about the clothes, like you put a beautiful black woman with our body in it, and it becomes about the woman. Because we take over the clothes. You know what I mean? Like it becomes, oh shit, this is banging, that's banging, and we, we are so sexy that it's not about the clothes. So I can see a designer just wanting a pale, slim hanger to show their wares. Mm -hmm. Good point. But do you think that could change though? Should we force that? I don't think it's force a forced change. I think it's an addition. It's okay. just two different flavors. It's two different things. You know what I mean? Like, I think it should be up to the designer of how you want to rock it. Like, because once we put it on, we change what it is. We bring it to it's somewhere else. You know, if it's, a, you know, unless you're just that skinny of a black woman. But if you put a curvy black woman in something, it changes the garment. It brings the garment to life on the woman. And it's not about the garment anymore. So from that perspective, I get it. I don't know if that's the perspective they're coming from. That's how I've looked at it to, to make it make sense in my mind. But um, yeah. But I think that there just could be more anyway on a whole another avenue. You know what I mean? And even with plus size, I believe in it up to a point, and then if it's not healthy anymore, and it's I just look at you and I know exactly what you've been eating. Like I'm sure somebody looks at me and they know exactly what I've been eating. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that it's kind of can be a healthy turn off kind of. That's the only thing with chubbiness is that I know how you got there. And that's not always attractive because it's unhealthy. So from that point of view, no. But there's, you know, just that thickness that's not really fat and you're just, yeah, you're a healthy eater and you're still sexy as hell. Yes. What do you want to be remembered for? What will be your legacy? Mm, good. I have a lot of things I want to be remembered for. Um, I have a house that I want to build in my head. I want to be remembered for that. Um, 
just making a mark because once I die, I don't want it to be over. <laughs> I don't want the party to be over. <laughs> I don't want to live on. Um, yeah, in some form or fashion, I want it to just carry on, whether it's just pictures in a book or a house that I designed and built. Um, whether it's through my son and for my son. What mark do you feel? And in my other mark, too, is that you don't have to be a traditional size. I don't, like, when I look at myself and I see all my length and my size, I feel just really unique. You know, I look, I'll be like, because sometimes my boyfriend will be like, you are a big bitch. Like, just, <laughs> and it's not even, like, big, just like a long, large person. And so, I don't know, it's like... I don't really think about it because I'm just, this is just who I am. It's like my own special thing and I have my own special size 13 feet and I have my own special super long legs and my own, you know, like it's, it's my thing. And so I guess being in this business and being all of those things, I think that could be inspiration for other people too. It's a feeling. Like, okay. it's I'm even... so scared. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Get the mirror. I like outfits that make me feel like this. Are you going to do pose? Yeah, just this. Oh. <laughs> so if I lift the mirror and the outfit feels like that, uh -huh. that's what I like. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. This is my this is my uniform. This is cargo pants, jean shirt, v-neck t-shirt, and or a hoodie. That's what I wear on my yeah, but then you always have to have a fabulous accessory. <laughs> and then, because I always have like a bit of a westerny feel to it all, so then add the stylish touch. Then it's like, yeah. Dana still feel like that. Like, that's awkward. You know it too. Like, stop the madness. Should I just leave that gray up there? You like I, I like it. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change your post. Like, you need to shop, man. Are we open? Are we ready? Oh, I like that. I like that. Are you show? You're a show off. Yeah. You are a show off. Okay. You, you are a show off. <laughs> Oh, no, you did it! Yeah, no, you did it! <laughs>